Hi everyone, I'm Cassie. Welcome back to my psychology channel. Today, I'm going to talk about communal relationship. It is a relationship that participants expect and desire mutual responsiveness to each other's needs. In order to explain the term better, let's watch a video together. Amy? Amy? Yeah. Oh, right. Funeral. Amy. Hello, Sheldon. I'm not allowed to wear my silver surfer necktie. You, you can wear a bathrobe? I think I'm too sick to go to the funeral. You're sick? You poor kid. We'll see ya. Sheldon, aren't you gonna take care of me? Me? No. No, I'm not that kind of doctor. But our relationship agreement clearly states that when one of us is sick, the other must take care of them. Oh, I see the confusion. No, uh, the intent behind that clause was to force you to take care of me when I'm ill. <laughs> when you're feeling better, you'll think that's funny. <laughs> Never mind. Good night, Sheldon. Amy. 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 I made a commitment in writing to comfort you in times like this. And additionally, you are my girlfriend and I care about your well-being. Thank you, Sheldon. You're welcome. Now let's get this over with. Welcome back. In the video, Amy is sick and she wants Sheldon to take care of her. They have the relationship agreement about taking care of each other when one of them is sick. However, Sheldon probably did not want to be infected by the flu. But at the end, he said that he made the commitment in writing to comfort Amy in the time like this. And he said that he cares of her uh, because she is his girlfriend. Uh, Sheldon feels like he has the responsiveness to look for Amy's needs. However, it would, uh, it would be better if there is a video clip that shows Amy also trying to look for what Sheldon needs. This is the example that I can found for communal relationships. Thanks for watching.